Okay, so now the whole point of separating these um, the nails, etc., eyelashes is so that over here you can hide them. So I can hide the teeth, I can hide the contacts, I can hide our rings, our nails, and our lashes, and it and it just makes it easier for sculpting. Um, so what you want to do is you're going to click again on the body and then I'll, I'll let you see from here up here where it says object mode you're going to click on sculpt mode first things first always scroll across to here where the butterfly is and click on x this mimics the same thing on the left hand side as it does on the right hand side etc so if i make one if i oh my god i don't know why i just did that oh wait why does that actually look kind of nice Oh well, um, so whatever I do, like if I gr use this, this tool for example, it'll do the same on both sides. So, what you're going to want to do, you, these are different tools, there's a handful of them that I use. So this one is the main one, which is the grab tool. Obviously, as you can see, you grab certain parts, etc. that you want um, and drag them to wherever you want. The pinch tool. I sometimes use that, it, like obviously as you can see, kind of pinches things in. Um, you'll see it more if I turn this side. You can see what that pinch did. That is bananas, but um, it works for some things. Um, the inflate tool, obviously. Let me see, I'll show you here. As you can see, inflates. You don't have to do it there, obviously, but it inflates rather well. Um, um, what else do I use? The draw, draw tool, it makes things a bit bigger, like that, or the draw sharp tool usually makes things thinner. That's a bit dramatic though. So the only thing you're going to have to play around with is your radius, which is how big your brush is. So if I go 100. It obviously makes it bigger. If I did 50, it make it smaller. And the strength, the strength I would recommend um, maximum is 2.5, 0 0.25. It just, you can, or you could do, if you started off, you could just do 0.15 um, to make things a little bit easier on yourself. Um, just, I don't know, it's just a bit easier to start small and then build up than it is to start major and not so Callie I can't remember what I said to your sculpt so like some people like to sculpt in this mode which is where you can see the skin and other people like to sc sculpt in the grey mode because you can see obviously if I built if I did like actual like a rib cage or whatever you'd probably see it better on this than you would on this but if you were using this mode i would 100 percent recommend to have your second side of the screen on this mode so you can just see that it's mimicking identical to what you want so let me move this first try move my phone uh, move this back a bit so you can see both screens hopefully well not both screens but both sides of the screen so i'll use the let's see let's go with the grab tool I'm on 0.25 with it um, at 100%, 100 pixel radius. So I'm going to just grab, you can kind of see if I grab in um, what it does. Um, so I'm going to just, you can see it more here. I'm doing it on the side here, opposed to there. Um, I'll keep this in front view for now because I want you to see what it looks like in front view also. Um, now, Kali, I think we said was a skinny, skinny kind of version on anorexic. Um, I think, but I'm not a hundred percent certain on how to make them look really good. I usually play around with this mode, um, as long as it looks good here. Like I don't care. Um, so I also think I said. I wanted her to have, um, what did I say, did I say abs, oh god, how do I do abs, let's see, so go on the draw tool, let's see, um, I'm gonna 
change that to 0.252. Um, or is it the draw sharp? No, it's the draw tool. Okay. And then let's try and make some ribs, I guess. I don't know how people do it. Is it the crease? I've seen a lot of people do it. Like, I'm. Oh, well, I mean, I guess it kind of looks ribby. Um, draw sharp, done in the center. Uh, um, kind of make it a bit more deep. V lines. If I go to the side on this, you'll see it. Oh, yeah, that looks a bit better. Um, she is quite skinny, I think we said. Like, a virgin on the. Oh, that's like dramatic. <laughs> this is my only thing. I like, I would get paranoid with how much I've done it. So, uh, let's see. Let's make her a bit skinnier. Because she's not really thick on any way, shape, or form. The other tool that you could use uh, is a smooth tool. So I'm going to change that back down to 2.5. Um, and that just kind of smooths things out. Obviously, smooths things out. Makes things a little bit thinner. Um, I'm going to use it on our sides, I think. Oh, I kind of brought a belly button out. Didn't want to do that. Um, I just want to make her look not like ridiculously anorexic, but a bit, a bit skinny, skinny, because she is. And then same with her tatas, they're not um, thingy. So let's see, draw sharp. Can I just. I don't want her to have. Ooh, wait, why have I done that? Mm -mm. That kind of looks gross. Let's go in the draw tool and see if I can fix them. Sometimes the skin itself just needs tweaking to uh, grab tool. Let's see. Obviously, if you make the radius bigger, you grab a bigger piece of of skin. I don't want to warp the tattoos too much. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to go in and fix them afterwards. Um, but thankfully. I guess her ones are easy enough. Um, let's see, belly button and hip bones. How did I do it? I done it with Benj and let's see. Grab the hip bones. I can't remember how I grabbed them. <laughs> oh God, I just want her to have like a bit more bones. Like you can see on this side, the bones are there, but like if I do that, it looks a bit, oh. Let's see, flatten, does flatten do it or does flatten break it up? Oh, flatten kind of helps. Uh, smooth, because I want like that kind of, like, how do I? Oh, that kind of works. But like, does this work? Like, it's just a lot of playing around. Like, that looks too deep to me. Like, far too deep. Um, like for V lines. I don't know. Some of it. When I look at it, you look at on other people's sculpts and you're like, wow, how did they do that? Because that looks so good. And then you look at it in yours and it's like, oh, that doesn't look too good. Um. <laughs> I'm just rabbiting on, um, because I've seen like my friend Chloe's sculpt, um, her ones, like I'll show you, let me show you quickly, this is Nate, I just got sent him for a second there, um, let's take his top off to show you, look how deep his V lines are, like it looks bananas from the front, but like from the side it doesn't even look fucking, like I don't know if it's just the skin she uses or what, but she's got the same with her girls. And I just can't freaking figure it out. So I'm gonna just try and suction. I don't know. Maybe I would be better looking at, um, like, an actual reference for, for a body. Do you think that would be the best idea? I'm asking you if you can. Like me right now. Oh, maybe, maybe that works. That kind of looks ruby. 
ruby. Is that a word? Like, oh, like from the side, she looks. Oh, she looks really anorexic from the side. Oh, this is my downside. Um, I'm just gonna play around. But yeah, you get the gist. Once you're done. Once you're done with it. Oh, wait, no, she actually looks gross. <laughs> Whoops. I'm just gonna pull her ribs out, maybe. Like, I don't want to make her... Should we do that? Because she's got kind of like an hourglassy, but not like a full-on hourglass. Like, she's got the, the shape if she wasn't a skinny bitch. <laughs> but um, like, like, is that too dramatic? You, you let me know if you think that's too dramatic. I might bring our belly button up. I don't know. I just feel like something's off. Something feels real off. Maybe you could tell me. You could obviously also bring her tatas in more if you wanted. You could bring them down more. Oh my god, that's awful. Ew. <laughs> But, you, you know, you get the gist. Like, you can pretty much just play around with any of it. Absolutely any of it. Um, and, like, it doesn't really matter if you quote-unquote mess up. Because you can just go back. You can just undo it and go back to, like, the start um, I'm gonna grab a draw, bring our collarbones out. Oh, but I don't know if that makes it too. Like, look, if I look on our actual thing here, it doesn't look very thingy. Maybe if I draw sharp and underneath or something. I don't know. Grab tool. It's like trying to play around and figure out what looks good. Oh, look! <laughs> I'm sidetracked, but her neck seam thing isn't there. You can obviously also do her face. You can do their faces. Oh, I forgot this. So you can also do their faces because obviously you've got the whole body. I'm going to do some of her neck, the back of her neck because I don't like it. But her face, for example, um, I like to go on the draw sharp um, up their nose. Just, just a little bit, just to kind of hollow it out a bit. And same with the ears. Oh, our ears look a little bit wonky. Like, around, like, where they would be. Um, just, just a little bit. Not too much, but, like, a little bit. And then, maybe a little bit of an eye. And obviously, if you use your grab tool, like, you could mess around. To, like, if you wanted to give them a nose job or something, you could. Like, I think I did that with Ada's nose. Um, if you didn't like something or couldn't get it the way you wanted to in Create a Sim, you could do it here um same with like ears if you wanted them to be like pointed or whatever you you totally could um but it's just a matter of things same with piercings if they had like a stretch lobe you could totally stretch it out um to make it look the part um but yeah like you just play around until you're happy with it, really. Um, I'm like, oh, wait. I don't know if she looks too anorexic. I think she might look too anorexic. That's my only downside. Um, she doesn't have that big a butt, but I am going to inflate it just a little bit. Um, obviously, this also goes off of whatever you've already got in Create a Sim. So, like, whatever sliders you've already got on on the girls, it'll kind of bring them out of it. Um, bring them out of it? It won't bring them out of it. It will keep it will keep them the same, but like, you um, you just work off of what that, like they're the base, I guess. Like, is that too skinny? I'll let you tell me. Um, oh god, what did I do? See, sometimes that's the only downside is you end up doing a bit much um, and overinflate things. But I feel like our shoulders are just not wide, wide enough. Oh my god, <laughs> why did I do that? Like, I don't know, something feels off. You let me know what it is because you'll probably see it um, more than I do. But I, th I don't know, I feel like our head compared to our shoulders just ain't it. 
I don't know. It's like they need to be. I don't know. Something feels off. Maybe it's the size of her head. Who knows? Anyway, so like pretty much that's what you would do to start off with. Um, and then it'd just be about a pendant close to it. So yeah, that's pretty much sculpting. 